Hello and welcome to Paula Armstrong Ceramics. So for this video I thought I would show you how to make a cute little toadstool fairy house. Now this can be just a sculpture piece on its own or you can turn it into a tea light holder. So I hope you enjoy. We're going to start by just rolling out a slab of clay. And we're going to turn it over regularly uh, as we roll and roll in slightly different directions. And this will give us um, a nice even thickness and um, the it will even out how things dry as well. Because um, as we roll over the fabric, the fabric's absorbing some of the moisture, the rolling pin's absorbing some of the moisture. Um, and so this evens everything out a little by flipping as we go. Okay. I'm not going to go too thin with this um, because I want to stretch it a little bit. So. Oh, we're probably looking at about six millimeters thick there, around that. Now, this is going to be the height of my mushroom. So I am going to trim, oh, that was not very straight. So I'll use the rolling pin to straighten this out. One of my boards is there <laughs> underneath. Okay, now I don't want anything too, too high, so I'm going to go about there, I think. And take that away, keep it for spare. It around. Oh, I can move bottom out. So I'll probably go about that kind of size. So I'm going to trim my excess off there. Score. use some slip. Now this is very wet clay so I probably don't need very much of this. It will stick on its own but it does make it very stretchy. Join those two together. Let's see if I turn that you can see a bit better what I'm doing. Use your fingers or you can use tools. I find it much easier to use tools on the inside. I'm supporting on the opposite side of the join so that I don't overstretch too much at this point. Use this for a bit of a base. This is a mushroom, it doesn't have to be exactly round. So 
That's entirely up to you. Okay. Now I've got some of my cutoffs around here. I'm just going to pop them around. In the base there. Then blend. Just to reinforce this join at the bottom. Now, as this is a mushroom, I'd like the bottom to be a little bit wider and a bit more bulbous. So I'm just going to put my hand in very, very gently. Stretch the bottom of this clay. Now, this you need to be particularly careful around the join. Um, for doing this because it will stretch the join and open it back up so you need to then reseal that um, and this is where slightly wetter clay and and why I've left it a bit thicker when I've rolled out the slab um, comes in very handy I'm literally just using that part of my finger and pressing it, rubbing across the surface on the inside and pressing out. Now you have to do this gently and figure out exactly what pressure it is by doing it a bit at a time. see my join is there so I'm gonna go in and tidy that all back up again seal it up It can be worth putting a bit of extra clay on the inside of your join. Um, so you just put a little strip like we did around the bottom there, but upright to follow the join. Now, I've got nails, so I've just put a whole bunch of <laughs> nail marks in the bottom here that I need to just go in and do a bit of tidying up with. Okay, so that's kind of the base of our mushroom. Now, at this point, I need this to dry a bit. So I am going to put a few little decorations. I'll make a few little decorations for it. So uh, I might put a, f a couple of baby mushrooms around um, at the side um, oh, three is probably the way to go isn't it odd numbers and groupings can be better and um, I'm going to use 
some of my leftover clay to do a little doorway. can do as many details as you'd like for this. Um, obviously, you can get really decorative if you want. Um, but the choice is yours. A lot of your tidying up it's good to do once it's dried off a little bit more this clay is very very wet at the moment um, which is great for modeling um, but not for tidying Are great for cutting out little circles. I'll put a little window in the door here. Now this door is going to bend around the mushroom slightly, so it's good to keep it so uh, it's still quite wet and flexible for applying. I'm also going to need to um, push the hole through. that it still goes all the way through. I'm going to do a little couple of windows, I think. They're going to be round windows. I'm cutting inside the size of the cutter so that I can stick the window frames on still. This 
is all going to need some tidying up once it's dried. Slip. is our top. I've got some slightly dry clay here for the top. Um, this would be good to let this dry a little bit so it's good to do this while that dries off a bit. So this is clay I've used before and I've wedged up so I'm just gonna turn this into a bit of a coney shape like I would like the top of my mushroom to be because I'm going to pull all this together I'm going to pop a bit of slip in there as this is quite dry clay and I would stand the chance of catching some air in there if I didn't do that I'm going to just do that See, that's not big enough yet, but I need to hollow this out and press it out. So I'm going to put my thumb in and start basically doing a pinch pop. Going around and pressing my thumb. I'm trying to keep against the palm of my hand so that I'm not putting my the lines from my fingers into the outside of the mushroom head i quite like the pointy top shape so i'm gonna make sure i keep that at the top like that You can see how much drier this clay is as it's cracking as I'm stretching it. Now, I am not after anything particularly symmetrical or perfect because this is a, a nice organic mushroom head. I'm quite happy to have a shape that not, that's not absolutely perfect this bottom. 
which I've opened up a bit. So at the moment, you see it's still not quite big enough. I need this to overhang a little. Good to me. Like that. So I'm just going to put a coil around this edge here to hold that lid in place and blend it into the base. too much about this top because this is going to be hidden but under here I am going to use this tool and I'm going to put in the lines that you get under a mushroom All the lines underneath there. So I'm now going to put this on top. That's going to sit inside here. And because we've got wet clay on here and slightly drier clay here, this point I'm going to use a fair amount of slip between the two because they're different moisture levels and this will help even things out and make sure everything sticks well there we go and then just a little bit of slip around the top decide where i want my front Right, well, that's my little fairy house. You can put a little chimney on top if you want. It's quite cute. And do a little mushroom, a mushroom chimney. fairy mushroom house now obviously you can add a whole bunch more decoration if you want you can do flowers you can do um, grass growing up the side you can have more windows you can put holes in the top you can convert this into a tea light holder if you wanted put some more holes through it but maybe put some holes in the lid um, and then pop a little hole in the back here just big enough 
to allow for shrinkage um, and to still be able to get a tea light in there like that and then you can obviously have in this case it will be lights through the uh, through the door and the windows there so there we go it's probably better if it's a little bit drier before you cut open the, the hole in the back um, you can also obviously once it's open do some tidying up in here if you want that and that's the fairy house